Hey guys, this is Sean at DIY Overlander and today we're going to do a little exterior walkthrough of the Sequoia. So right now we're home based, but um, Sequoia is going through some maintenance right now. Um, so we run 33 inch KO2s um, and we have a one inch lift on the front. It's just a real simple uh, puck lift on the front. And it's just right there over a factory strut assembly. Um, <clears throat> aftermarket upper control arms for more alignment. And then the front's pretty plain right now, but we're planning on doing some more to the front to get more of a backup view. There you go, there she is. So we got the snorkel on the front. This is actually this is actually integrated in. It's not just for show. Um, both inner wheel well liners are out, <clears throat> um, so that way you can get more up and down travel for the front tires. Because I kept rubbing them, and they were just destined to come off. Um, we got some Rago fabrication um, ditch light brackets, and I just had these KC lights sitting around from a previous build um, so hopefully I'll be able to swap these out to some 2x2 two two, uh, square LED ones um, so after that we just got the 8 foot uh, Smitty built awning on the side we've had this for about three years now this was on my Tacoma uh, really like this awning Hopefully one day we can upgrade to like an ARB and get a little annex room off to the side. So up here I get a lot of questions about the basket. This is a Yakima Load Warrior basket. And it's not an average one because this one actually has two extensions on it. So that's why I have so much room up here. And it's the full length of the vehicle. Um, we carry two four gallon roto packs on top at all times because uh, the Sequoia likes to drink gas got our wee boost right here it's short because we're around town driving right now and it's real simple to throw in the extensions and then uh, run the cables up because I just leave the extra up here it's our pelican case on the back side um, this is like off-road recovery gear so straps gloves uh, there's a fire bottle in there and uh, I'll come along and then here's the rear end got old man emu you can see it too well you can see the yellow old man emu shocks with uh, old man emu three inch lift coil springs in the back and got some pretty tail light guards and then the spare tire carrier. The spare tire carrier is not bad. It's actually off of Amazon. I'll have to drop a link for this. This wasn't bad. It's really easy to do one person. Uh, costs about 130 bucks. And then just spring for um, this little anti-shake plate right here that goes around. It'll cost you like 10 bucks, uh, but that way this isn't like shaking all about going down the highway or going on a trail and you see your rear tire shaking because you don't have that. Uh, of course, we got the trash roo on the back with the license plate, and hopefully we'll be able to change this out soon for an actual license plate uh, bracket. Right now, we just have zip ties holding it on, which one of these has already broken on the trail, so really need to swap that out. <clears throat> um, and then just stickers of the different brands we like to rep and this is my wife's company that does all my vinyl on the outside and that's about it oh and we'll talk about this later this is the new Dometic CFX3 55IM um, but that's it really for the exterior besides you know the rain guards and hopefully we'll be able to do some more upgrades here soon so thank you guys for watching.
really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions about modifications on the outside or anything, just please leave a comment. If you like the YouTube video, give it a thumbs up, so hit that subscribe button, and let me know what you guys want to see next. Thanks.